Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna glam it up. We're gonna go from this to this. I thought it'd be fun to go a little extra today. Glam it all up. I have some new products to play with, lots of new beauty. And yesterday I did my makeup, I did lashes, I did the whole nine yards and I had a really great day. So I felt like there's probably some correlation there. So today we're gonna do the same and test and play with some new product. I am gonna be using some It Cosmetics products in this video. This video is in partnership with It Cosmetics because they are having a major, major sale on their website right now. You can get 35% off site wide, you guys, 35%. That's insane. You want to use the code MAGIC35. I'll have it right here on the screen and then I'll have it in the description box below. So I have some of my favorite It Cosmetics products and then I also have some products from Loon and Aster to incorporate into this, what I'm super excited to play with. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So I applied my moisturizer this morning, but it's dry outside. I mean, it's dry. It's cold outside. So it's makes my skin super dry. So my skin already feels like I could add a little bit of an extra primer before foundation. So I'm going to go in with the confidence in a cream from it. This is a pretty rich cream. So it's a great like evening um, cream. I'm just going to use a little bit. It is quick absorbing into the skin. So even though it's rich, I can wear it underneath makeup, especially on the days when my skin just needs that extra hydration. It has 48 hour hydration, it has ceramide, so it really, really hydrates and moisturizes the skin. I'm just gonna really rub that in to create a really nice, like plump canvas for my foundation. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm gonna go in with like, this used to be one of my holy grail foundations. When this first launched, I remember, and this was, it's been a couple years, right? Anyway, when this first launched, I remember loving this foundation, really just wearing it all the time, being obsessed with it. And you know, in the life of a YouTuber, we, get so many new products. And it's been a while since I used this. So I thought it'd be fun to pull this out of the vault. So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Plus Skincare Foundation. I love this foundation. This is a really great like medium coverage foundation that is long wearing, but looks really natural on the skin. It does not look heavy or cakey. You just need a little bit. I'm gonna do about half a pump of this. I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty 106 brush. I'm take a little bit just from on the brush to my skin. I like to start in the center of the face and just kind of press to get good coverage and then I'll pull it down to blend out. The finish on this is pretty natural, so it's not gonna have a real matte or powdered-like finish. I am gonna set it with the powder. It has more of a natural skin-like finish and it really does stay nice all day. It doesn't get shiny or like move or migrate or break up. It's a really, really great foundation. So I've got a pretty light sheer layer. I wanna add a little bit more coverage. If you notice the way that I applied that foundation, I applied it in a way to really sheer it out and get a natural finish. Typically I will press to get more coverage, but if you notice in that application, I really moved in large circular motions. That's a, a technique to really sheer out and get a natural coverage, but I want a little bit more. So I'm gonna do about another quarter of a pump or so, maybe a third of a pump. Because it has been a while since I used this foundation, I just wanted to see if my memory served me correctly and I didn't want to apply too much. So again, I'm just gonna go in and kind of work it onto my hand and we're just gonna go in the center of the face and now we're gonna press to get a little bit more coverage there. Next up for concealer, I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This is one of the most full coverage concealers that I own. So a little bit goes a very long way. And when I say a little bit, I mean like the tiniest dot. I also wanna prep underneath my eyes just to give some slip underneath the eyes and hydrate under the eyes so that this concealer blends out really seamlessly and beautifully, especially with the cold weather, my under eyes are dry. So I'm gonna go in with the Confidence in a Cream Eye Cream. And I'm just gonna use my finger and take a little bit. Since I'm going straight in with makeup, I'm not gonna apply as much as I would if it were evening time. And I'm just gonna go right underneath the eye. Try not to mix it with my foundation. Oh, that feels so good. This concealer helps with crow's feet, dark circles, and dryness. If you have a lot of texture underneath the eyes, especially in the winter, you definitely wanna use something to um, hydrate right before you put concealer on because concealer can really magnify fine lines and texture. So I am the shade Light Buff 14.5 and I'm gonna take the tiniest, literally guys, the tiniest amount. So I took about, can you see that? That much. And the shade is a little bit light. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use my finger to kind of really work this in so that I don't apply too much. And I'm gonna apply a little bit right there in the inner corner with my ring finger, perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and blend it out and I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics number seven brush, the concealer end, and just press 
and then sweep. This concealer is really full coverage, so just a tiny bit, you guys. It's all you need. This concealer is crease proof, doesn't crack. It's a really, really great full coverage concealer. And you can take whatever's left and kind of sweep it up and in the inner corner. Most of us have a little bit of darkness right here, like a little vein that you can see, I know I do. So I like to always run whatever's left on my concealer brush up there. Next, I'm gonna go and warm up the skin and I'm using this cream bronzer from Tarte. This is the Breezy Cream Bronzer. I've really been loving this. I think this is a great cream bronzer for winter cold months because it is very creamy, but it's also sheer. I like to use the BK Beauty 111 brush and just like kind of load it up. It's buildable so you can get, you know, a lot of coverage from it or a lot of color, but I like how light it goes on initially. I also love this brush because it just really works it into the skin. If you use a smaller brush, then you're gonna get a lot more pigment payoff right off the bat, but I like to kind of build it and get more of a natural, softer. I like to have a little more control when I apply, so I like to start with less and then build up if I want more. But I've really been loving this product. I'm gonna take my finger, my ring finger, and I'm gonna use it on the side of my nose just to give a little bit of shape and definition to the nose there. Using my finger instead of the brush is just gonna give me a little more control. So I create more definition. If I were to use the brush, I could totally do that and it would warm up the center of my face around my nose, but I actually wanna create some structure and some contour. So I'm gonna apply it with my finger. Then I'm just gonna go back with the brush and just kind of blend out any lines. I don't wanna over blend it though, cause I still wanna keep that structure there. Next, I'm gonna go in and set the center of my face and around the cream blush. I'm not gonna set over the cream blush, but I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Pressed Powder. This is such a great lightweight sheer powder that will just absorb shine, set your foundation. It won't change the color of your foundation and won't add a heavier layer of makeup. It also really does smooth out pores and texture on the skin. And I'm using the It Cosmetics number eight brush. And I'm just going to press it on the forehead underneath the eyes a little bit and just around that cream blush. So pretty, it just gives a very airbrushed look. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Bye Bye Pores Blush. This is the shade Naturally Pretty. It's a warm peach, um, like a peachy pink. I'm excited to use these. I actually don't know that I have owned a Bye Bye Pores Blush before. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on the same brush, smile, and then just sweep it on the cheeks. Oh, this is gorgeous. I really love their Bye Bye Pores powders. They're so pore blurring and smoothing. Perfect. Ah, oh, okay, gorgeous. I'm gonna go back with my BK Beauty 106 and just kind of pressed around to really blend out the edges there. So for my eye primer, I'm gonna go in and use a little bit of the concealer, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna take it on my ring finger. I'm gonna do the same application that I did for the concealer. Rub it between my ring fingers. Once I have it on, I'm gonna use a separate finger that's clean because I don't wanna add any more product and I'm just gonna blend and sweep that up. Because this concealer is crease proof, it makes a great eyeshadow primer too. Because it's full coverage, it's gonna cancel out any discoloration or veins on the eyelid. And it's got a little bit of a like tacky consistency when you first apply it, so it'll really grip the shadows and it won't crease. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited. I'm gonna go in and play with some new palettes from Loon and Aster. Loon and Aster is the in-house brand for Blue Mercury. I got this beautiful palette that looked like the perfect, I mean, I say beautiful, it's pretty basic and neutral, but it was, I looked at this palette and I was like, this palette I have to have. It has just every color in here I will wear. Very practical, neutral palette, great for travel. Uh, how many shades does it have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. It has 12 shades. Um, and then I picked up some really fun shimmery shadows for the holidays. I picked up, they're called the Stardust Eye Pop shadows. And this is the shade Rose Quartz. And this is the shade Smoky Topaz. So this is what Rose Quartz looks like on the finger. And then this is what Smoky Topaz looks like. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we're gonna play with those today too. We're gonna basically take a pretty basic and neutral palette, add some pops of shimmer to glam it up. All right, you guys, let's go in here. I'm so excited. I got my brand new clean brushes ready to go. I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 202 brush. And we're gonna take not the lightest shade. This is pretty white, but I'm gonna take this next shade right here. And we're gonna just dust this kind of all over underneath the eyebrow and then a light dusting on the lid. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, the third one over from the top row. And I'm still using the 202 brush and we're gonna sweep this into the crease to create some shape to the eye. And I'm gonna take that crease a little bit higher. Next, I'm gonna take the BK Beauty 211, which is a smaller, more precise crease brush. And we're gonna go in the shade right next to it and we're gonna pop that right on the outer corner 
And then we are gonna bring that into the crease, but we're also going to blend it just below that first shade we put on. So I don't want this color to cover what we just applied, but I want it to blend into what we just applied. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shadow. It's the shade Rose Quartz. These have a very interesting, like cream to powder-like texture, and they're very, very like opaque. Sometimes I talk about topper shadows that have a lot of shimmer, but are more sheer in color. This is not one of them. This is more of like a heavier foiled shadow. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just going to, oh my gosh, this, I mean, this is like a cream product. Is this a cream product? It doesn't say here. I'm gonna look this, let me, I'm really curious. I'm gonna look up and see how this is described on the website because it feels like a cream to powder product. Let me go ahead and apply it first with my finger. Wow. That is like major, major glam. So it's described as a metallic glitter eyeshadow infused with vitamin E and light reflecting pearl pigments. Creates multi-dimensional dewy sparkle effect and pop, contains light diffusing pearl pigments, weightless cream to powder formula. There we go, weightless cream to powder. So it is a cream to powder. It's stunning, super, super opaque. Okay, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do the other eye. I mean, this is beautiful, you guys, super beautiful. Next, I'm gonna go back in with the 202 brush and we're gonna go back into that shade and we're just gonna kind of clean up the outer corner and blend up. Okay, to line the eyes, I'm gonna use the Luna and Aster Dawn to Dusk Gel Eyeliner. This is the shade brown. Um, I'm excited to try this. So when I was at Blue Mercury, the um, guy told me that it was like uh, Trish McAvoy's Eye Coal, which I love those. So I'm gonna use this to line just underneath the eye. Very pigmented, very soft. I'm also gonna use it to line the outer half of my lid. And I'm not worried about it being perfect. I actually want a little thicker out here on the outer part because I am gonna go in with the shadow and kind of pull that out. So I'm gonna grab a, a BK Beauty 210. This is our new pencil brush and it's very, like has more of a pointed tip. And I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade in here. It's actually a really pretty like purpley brown. We're gonna go in with this shade right here. Kind of kind of tap it off so I don't have a lot of fallout. And we're just gonna kind of run that over that line, smoke it out, and then I'm gonna pull up. So I'm gonna take that same brush and we're gonna go into the first shade that we started the crease with. We're gonna smoke out the lower lash line. One recommendation I have for you guys to pick up is their mascara closet. This has three full-size mascaras. It has their superhero mascara, their lash blowout, and their hello lashes. I've used the superhero and I really like it. I kind of wanna try one of these others because I haven't tried um, Hello Lashes or Lash Blowout. Let me see what it says about each of them. It says that all three give a very unique look. So Lash Blowout, clean volumizing salon lift with specially designed brush inspired by technology used for barrel hairbrushes delivers 19 times your volume. Okay, I'm interested in that. <laughs> Hello Lash is a smudge proof black lengthening volume plus lash care serum with unique 360 lash wrapping brush. This tubing mascara wraps every lash. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the blowout. I love, love volume. I am gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of my Dior um, Lash Primer. I'm gonna skip the false lashes today because I really wanna see this mascara and how big I can take it. Ooh, okay, nice full brush. There's like really nothing better than opening a mascara and using it for the very first time. So I like to kind of apply it at the base of my lashes. And I actually like to close my eyes when I first get the product. That's really gonna help me get most of the product onto my lashes. So close your lash, wiggle the brush back and forth, and then pull up. When I was a makeup artist, this was how I would apply mascara on people. I'd have them close their eyes. Applying mascara on someone else and then also lining their waterline is very difficult. <laughs> people kind of panic a little bit when something's that close to their eye and they don't have control over it. So I would just say, close your eye. It'll be more comfortable for you and I'll really be able to get in there with the mascara wand. But sometimes I would just hand them the wand and let them apply it themselves because they could really get in there. Okay, wow, that gave a lot of volume and length. Love that. I don't even need false lashes today. I'm kind of tempted to put some corners on just for fun, but I think I'm going to go without. That's really pretty. Next, we're gonna go in with lips and I wanna share a new lipstick that I have been loving. It's from Beauty Pie uh, and it's in the shade Naked Pink. This lipstick is really pigmented. It's very lightweight. It's very hydrating and comfortable on the lips. I love the color too. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. It's a really gorgeous, like medium tone, cool pink with some shimmer to it. Oh, I love it. Mm, it feels so good on the lips and it's so pigmented. 
Have you guys tried Beauty Pie? I've got about six or seven products I've been using and testing that I'll be sharing soon, but isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna top it with a gloss just in the center. I'm using the City uh, Lips Gloss in the shade San Diego. This is a really pretty pink with some grill, 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 gold sparkle. <laughs> And the last thing I'm gonna do to add a little bit of glam is I'm gonna take this liquid highlighter from Dior. This is the Face and Body Liquid Highlighter. And I'm gonna put just the tiniest on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go in with this BK Beauty 113 Powder Brush Highlighter Brush. And I'm gonna just take it on the tip. We're just gonna go and kind of place this right on the, high on the cheekbone, kind of wrap the brow a bit with it. I love using liquid highlighters in the winter because like I said, my skin is more dry. In the summertime, I'm dealing with oil and sweat here in Texas, so I kind of stay away from the liquid highlighters, but the winter is when I bring them out. I'll put a little bit on my nose here, a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna take a tiny bit on my ring finger. I'm actually just gonna place this right in the inner corner of the eye and then blend out with a clean finger. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So this is the finished look. I'll have all the products that I use listed and linked for you in the description box below, you guys. Remember the IT Cosmetics sale is happening now. It goes through the 28th and you can get 35% off site-wide. I still can't believe that 35% off site-wide with the code MAGIC35. All the details will be down below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.